there are five persons p q r s and t each one of whom has to be assigned one task neither p nor q can be assigned task one task two must be assigned to either r or s in how many ways can the assignment be done here there are five people and there are five tasks because each people should get one task let's check this is task 1 this is task 2 task 3 task 4 and task 5 and there are five people p q r s and t but in the question there are two condition that is neither p nor q can be assigned task 1 so this task 1 cannot assign to p and q that is remaining is three people r s and t and another condition is task 2 must be assigned to either r or s so task 2 must be completed by r or s So number of ways means number of ways is equal to here task two can be completed in two ways because either by assigning to R or by assigning to S and if you look at task one let's take if task two is assigned to R that means R get cancelled here so ta task one can be completed by either by S or by T so number of ways is equal to two and if you look at the other condition that is if task 2 is assigned to s that means task 1 can be completed by r or t even in that condition task 1 can be assigned to two people so number of ways is equal to two ways if you have doubt if task 2 is assigned to r that means task 1 cannot assign to r so the remaining option is s or t so two conditions two pay two ways again if task 2 is assigned to s that means task 1 cannot assign to s so remaining options are r or t so in both the cases only two people involved so two ways is the answer again if you look at task 3 already task 1 and task 2 assigned to two people the remaining is 5 minus 2 3 people so can be completed in three ways again if you look at task 4 Three tasks has been assigned to three people. Remaining is two people, so task four can be completed in two ways. Again, if you look at task five, four tasks has been assigned to four people. The remaining is one people, so task one can be completed in one way. So the total number of ways two into two four, four into three twelve, twelve into two twenty four ways. So option D is your answer.